everyone. My name is Googie. I am your favorite retro alien babe. And normally um, I do videos like about fashion, makeup, hair, you know, stuff like that. Um, very retro, very extra. But um, today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Um, I have been interested in the law of attraction for years and you see a lot of like law of attraction videos on um, YouTube and um, now I'm like more into law of assumptions. So yes, I'm a trendy girl. I follow trends. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to share how I changed my life and changed my new reality like really fast and really quick. So it's going to be like a series like this video is just like about how I got my apartment. But I want to do a video on um how I changed my life in two months. Uh, the whole journey that even got me to this point. Because if you see, like, I was posting really good on my videos. And then, like, I went a year and then I post here and there. So we're trying to be, like, more consistent. And, y'all, my hair is just doing something weird today. I don't know. It's on its last leg. Anyway... <laughs> So this is how I manifested my apartment. Actually, I manifested all of my apartments. And it's a lot of trial and error. You can manifest anything you want, first of all. You are always in the state of manifesting. I know you've heard that a thousand times. That does not mean that things always turn out good just because you manifest it. And that does not mean things always turn out bad just because you manifest it. This was my manifestation of my apartment with bad credit, no savings. I just used my tax money. Thank God that came in. And um, I had a job. I'm not going to title this. I didn't have a job, but I technically didn't because I didn't start my job yet. I had my job's offer letter. So I didn't have... Um, a steady income you know some apartments especially where I live in Chicago they need like two months rent statement so they can see how much you're bringing in versus how much the rent is so you have that ratio but sometimes the offer letter works too so I'm, I'm not gonna say I had no job I did have a job but I did not have an income okay so I manifested this apartment basically with bad credit in a time crunch I manifest this apartment in I think it came to fruition. It took two weeks. Um, yeah. And it had all odds against me. So let's back up. So like I said, I manifested all of the places I ever lived. And with a quickness. Like, I think I manifest every apartment I lived in in less than a month. The last apartment that I lived in before this one was roach infested. Roach in like I am not kidding you when I say roach infested it was hell on motherfucking earth and you're like how did you have an apartment like that if you manifest it here's the thing about manifesting if you want your apartment to be your dream apartment your man to be your dream man anything like that to be your dream whatever you envision in your mind you cannot settle that's the thing that's the big key I've learned. And I definitely settled with all three apartments, even including this one. I definitely settled because I did manifest in the time crunch and you need stuff to be moving along. So I was in a uh, Rocha Fest apartment. Um, it really fricked with my mental, trying not to curse on here. It really messed with my mental. Um, so I did have a job when I first had that apartment because I did have like the income to get the apartment, whatever. Um, yeah, I quit that job. Between that job and that apartment, my mental was wrecked. So I was sitting in my apartment, no money, only had income from like doing art or you guys like buying my stickers or shirts. So thank God I'm an artist and a hustler that way. But I had no steady income. I just had just enough to eat, barely. Girl gets the point. I had no income. So I could not pay my rent. So I was on the verge of being evicted from my apartment. The good part about it is by the time they even caught on to the me not paying the rent and giving me the eviction notice, I had to move out anyway. My lease was up in February. I was trying to find a room to rent 
because I had just got my tax money or I knew I was going to get it. So I was like, I'm trying to find a room to rent. I was freaking out. I was like, I'm going to be homeless. Where am I going to go? I was planning on going to stay in a motel, Airbnb, whatever. I tried to find a room to rent, fell through. Tried to find a room, another room to rent, fell through. Mind you, this all happened in like a week. I've been looking for a month, but they were all falling through. But once it got crunch time, it was just like stressing me out. It was stressing me out. So apartment, roach, couldn't pay the rent, almost evicted. Here we are to now it's the last day in my apartment. I couldn't take anything with me because I had nowhere to go. And the friends I have in my life, God bless them, they've helped me a lot, but they could not carry any of my stuff. So I had to throw everything out. I was back to living in two suitcases again, like I was when I first moved here. I was like, fine, I'll take me and my two suitcases and I'll go live in a hostel. So I was in a hostel for um, about a week and a half, I think maybe 10 days, 10 or 12 days. Um, and at the same time that I was in the hostel, I had started my job. So there we go. I finally got like working, but I still didn't have an income because I got paid every other week and I had just started my job. The first week that I was in that hostel, I was like, I'm getting an apartment. This is happening. I'm getting it. There's no way. I'm not staying in anybody's room to rent. I'm not dealing with roommates. I'm getting an apartment. This is happening. So I buckled down. And I said, I do not care about the circumstances. I don't care about my bad credit. I don't care about me not having um, a steady income. I don't care about any of those circumstances. And I went and I buckled down and I looked at apartments online. So I made this list and I wanted to stay close to my job. Like first rule I say is write down what the fuck you want. We just gonna curse in this video. So I wrote down what the fuck I wanted. I know I wanted hardwood floors. I know I did not want to be in a first floor apartment. I knew um, I wanted like to be that stainless steel appliance girl, but I was like, you know, it's fine if we don't because this is like time crunch. This is where the settling started coming in. So I started to see these apartments. I lined up like apartment showings every day after work. I was determined. Like, this is happening first apartment didn't like it second apartment expensive as hell first of all did not like it second of all and third of all it was dirty and they wanted me to have a 650 or higher credit score and it was way out of my budget so I was like no and I'm getting a little frustrated saw this other apartment by the time I got there it had already been sold okay so I was like on my last leg and it was getting closer to the time that I had to be out of the hostel. And I didn't have to be out of the hostel. I just, I liked having the whole room to myself in the hostel and it was like booked up and I didn't want to share a co-ed co room. I was being bougie in my head. Anyway, so it was like the last leg of me being in the hostel. I saw this place online and it was so cute so beautiful it was huge it was not a first floor apartment it was everything i said kitchen big as hell the um bathroom was updated had two huge closets and i really wanted a walk-in closet that's another thing um i'm like this is my place i am affirming and confirming that this is my place so i hit up the lady to go see it we both go there we get to the door, we try to unlock it to get in to see the place. Um, someone already moved in. I was like, this is crazy. I This is the last place I had on my list. Like someone already moved in there. What the frick? And she looks at me and she's like, I am so sorry. I did not know. I talked to the landlord all day today and they probably didn't realize that they, I don't know how you don't realize that you sold an apartment, but they didn't realize that they sold an apartment. She was like, but you came all the way out here. I have this place. I did not put it on the market yet. If you want to go see it, and if you like it, it's yours. And I was honest with her. I was like, I have to let you know that um, I have the income in my offer letter that um, matches the price of the apartment. 
but my credit is really bad like it at that point it was like 400 something like you it's unheard of to really get an apartment in Chicago without a co-signer for four it's not gonna happen you can't even get an apartment for 600 without a co-signer she was like that's okay let's just go see the apartment and see if you like it first then we'll talk about it I went in the apartment was nice it actually had a full kitchen the bathroom had a claw foot tub with um one of those um detachable shower heads which I've always wanted it's on my vision board let me get my hold on let me get my vision board I keep my vision board on my iPad I don't know if you can see where is it it's right there claw foot tub is what I wanted with a detachable shower head once I saw that I was like oh yeah this apartment is mine this apartment is mine um, <laughs> and guess what the apartment was a hundred dollars cheaper than the one I was going to see so it was under budget this is Googie from the future I also forgot to mention a lot of other things on my list is I did not want to pay um, a security deposit because I had the money for it but at the time that I was looking for apartments that was the thing on my list I did not want to pay a security deposit um and with this apartment all I had to do was pay the $250 move-in fee and I didn't even have to pay first and last month's rent and I only had to pay half of the month that I moved in because I was moving in on the 15th I didn't have to pay the full month so only paying $250 plus half the month that's not even a full month's rent like i it was so crazy how things lined up and there's other things that um are in my apartment now that are on my vision board but i'll show that to you guys when i do a full apartment tour i just wanted to add that in there and i'm so glad you guys are enjoying this video she said you can apply and i will give you the keys like now i literally saw the apartment on thursday apply on what did i apply on i don't remember the dates i know for sure i saw the apartment applied the next day got it that same day got my keys two days later and it lined up so great that literally the last day in my hostel was the day i moved into my apartment so there was no break between i was not homeless i was not um not knowing where i was gonna sleep or eat or anything I literally <laughs> was in the apartment the next day and I rushed and shipped um, a bed to me. So I had a bed to sleep on. So I wasn't sleeping on the floor. So basically I had an air mattress, not air mattress. I had a um, mattress that I bought from Amazon that got shipped there and I slept on the floor and I slept great because <laughs> I was in my own place again. Now, here's the part where I have to say and instill into you. When you're manifesting, you can do it on a time crunch. But the only reason why I wouldn't recommend a time crunch is because sometimes in your own head, you can settle on things just because you're trying to get it done. You can get anything you want, any way you want it, any how you want it, definitely. But if you want it to be exactly how you want it, keep in mind, <laughs> when you're in a time crunch that no, I can't settle because this is what I want, how I want it, when I want it, how I need it. I say that to say, I said on my list that I wanted an apartment that was not a first floor apartment. This is a first floor apartment. Yeah. So that comes with first floor apartment problems. If you know, you know. So, <laughs> It's better now. It was it was kind of bad at first. It's better now, but it's nowhere near the apartments that I lived like in the past. I am so grateful and so shocked that I was able to manifest a place that was under budget, came quickly, wasn't even shown to anyone else yet, and I can customize this place however I want to. And it has a cloth lit tub with a detachable shower head. Like how? that's so specific how do you get a place like that i forgot that that was even on my vision board until i saw it and i was like oh my god 
you can get whatever the frick you want. But use me as a cautionary tale. If you're manifesting on a time crunch, do not settle if you want it to be exactly how you want it to be. It's going to happen. But just remember not to settle. The next place I get, I am making a promise to myself that I am not settling no matter what. No matter what. I was able to manifest an apartment with bad credit and no income in two weeks time. Started looking when I first started my job, when I first got into the hostel, got the apartment and the keys on the last day that I was in the hostel. So that was like 10 days, so less than two weeks. I hope this video was like insightful and helped you guys. It's kind of all over the place because it's my first time like um, talking about something like this and sometimes I get a little sidetracked, I apologize. The next video will be more straightforward to the point, but I want to show you guys how I changed my reality in two months. I went from broke and sleeping for dinner, basically, in the worst place I ever lived in, to now in my beautiful new apartment. So if you like this video, follow, you know, comment below, like this video. I'm gonna try and do like, maybe once a month these type of videos, or you guys tell me, I don't know. I might just post one next week. But you guys have the greatest day. I love you, my retro babes. 